Rio Trading Center, Buko District, Eastern Uganda. We are welcomed by these faces of hunger, despair, and agony. A vivid description of how life is full of challenges. Their native home is hundreds of kilometers away, and all they have in their minds are memories of 2007, post-election violence. There are hundreds of Kenya refugees who fled their motherland to the neighboring Uganda and now stare at the jaws of death in remote part of eastern Uganda. Strange victims of state neglect who are glaring at diseases and insecurity. Ogonjo nae metuzidi hapa, hata saizi mtoto yangu yako mgonjo kabisa, na hata nimekosa pesa hata ya kupelekea hospitali, sababu hospitali hapa ikombali kabisa ambao inatakana kukua na pesa ambao unezepelekea na pikipiki ndi umtibu. Liche sahi tu ni maumbana kwa majarani, ndi wamenipeaka hata panado ndi ambao ni memupatia. Shita ambao tulipata ili tukumba kule Kenya, ni kakuja peke angu, siju hata msa alienda njia gani, ni kakuja na watoto. Watoto ambao nilikuja na ya nilikuja na watoto tano. Terekali ya Kenya, itukumbuke mahali wako, sisi aswani wa Kenya. Na hakuna siku tumeamua kuwa watu wa Uganda. The sad part is the deplorable conditions that surrounds them as they have no earthly possession to call home. Rio camp which is located near Kenya border, a trail of death compounded by strange faces of emaciated children walking barefoot with strands of thin stabbed ribs in their bodies. <laughs> Papa, Uru, Saidia Sisi, Sisi ni watoto yako wa Kenya tuko Uganda tunateseka. Udu Saidia, turejeshe nyumbani, udu tete utupe makau kweli, watoto yetu wapate ilimu, tumeteseka ya kutoshe. Kwa kanisa tukaomba hospitali. Tukatoka kwa hospitali wakiwa wanamalizia, tukaomba maali hapa. Sasa, tumeambiwa tutoke hapa. Tutaenda wapi jamani. Sioni ni wapi tunaenda. Sisi watoto wetu hawa wamezoea shida, wanakula matunda, kunywa maji na kulala. Wanaishi kama wanyama. This is a temporary shelter to more than 530 families who cross from the Kenya border to eastern Uganda at the eve of the post-election violence. Most of the post-election violence victims come from Transoya County. Nimewasiliana na Senator uh, Professor Lonyangapo, anajua ya kwamba tuko hapa, Nimewasiliana na MP wetu uh, pukose kutoka ngambo ile, anajua sisi tuko hapa, hata ma MCA wanajua. Kwa nini jamani wananyamasa na sisi tuko hapa? Wachukue jukumu, wakuji watu shugulikie, sahi watoto tangu wa subuya, wachakula chochote, tangu jana. Maji tuna matunda hii ambayo wanakimbia mstuni. Au wakifa mimi nitapeleka wapi? But it's so sad that their plea to the authority to return them home has hit snag due to state negligence. However, Ugandan authorities are now calling on the Kenyan government. Na ambieni ya kwamba, sijui kama leo ndio watu ya Kenya leo meshanga kuangalia ya kwamba watu yetu yuko wapi. Lakini kwa sababu ya kwamba watu yenye wamekua hapa, na atujawana mutu ya yote kutoka Kenya, hata leo haza mimi na tena na shanga kuwana ya kwamba kumba tulikuwa na watu ambao wangefatulia watu ya Kenya na hawange umia na mna wame umia. One last year, one of these people died. Got burned inside the house like that. So he got burned until he died. We struggle with the, 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 the district government until we get one of the vehicles, the district vehicle, to car the government vehicle, to take that man up to Kenya side where he was buried in the area of support. Just his relatives came and evicted because there was no place to be, for us to bury him here because this is just somebody's land. Our appeal to the Kenyan government to expedite all the process to ensure that they take these people back to Kenya such that they will also they can benefit like any other Kenyan. In a letter seen by KTN, they want Kenyan government to take necessary action since they don't have alternative land to resettle these people. Elvis Kosgei, KTN News, Rio Trading Center, Buko District, in eastern Uganda.